This is the story of the life and death of 593, the nuclear-powered attack submarine Thresher, named for the Thresher Shark, and launched on July 9, 1960 in the seafaring city of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Commissioned the next year on August 3rd, the deepest diving and one of the fastest submarines began a year of shakedown cruises and tests, returning to the Portsmouth Yard for overhaul, and only recently beginning her latest tests, that reach a grim climax in a Navy announcement that stuns the nation. After a final, partly garbled message, a submarine is on the bottom and unable to rise. At Boston's first Naval District headquarters and elsewhere, the first hours see a flicker of hope kept alive. The possibility that the Thresher with 129 aboard had surfaced in stormy seas and was unable to radio. Then, after fruitless search, the Navy announces bleakly that the Thresher is Overdue and presumed missing. Finally, all hope is abandoned. 220 miles off Boston, in water 8,400 feet deep, the Navy's worst peacetime submarine disaster claims the Thresher and all 129 aboard. By comparison, the last U.S. submarine to be lost in peacetime, the Squalus, went down in 240 feet of water off the New Hampshire coast in 1939, before the atomic age. A diving bell was the key to life or death for the men of the Squalus. Of the 59 aboard, 33 were rescued. The submarine subsequently was raised and returned to service. The depth at which the Squalus sunk made rescue possible. But in a mile and a half of water, pressure makes rescue absolutely impossible for the thresher. So says Admiral George W. Anderson, Chief of Naval Operations. At a news conference at the Pentagon, he makes the formal announcement that the thresher has indeed been lost. A sad hour for the Navy and waiting kin. I've come to this conclusion uh, for two reasons. Uh, first of all, a salvage vessel recovery, uh, which is on the scene, uh, sighted an oil slick, and uh, as they followed this slick and examined it, uh, we found evidences of cork and plastic, uh, which are used in the uh, internal construction of submarines uh, of this type. And second uh, reason is that uh, even though there might have been a con communication failure, or that the ship might have, the submarine might have uh, gotten out of position in respect to the Skylark, the rescue vessel which was accompanying the submarine on its test, surely in the interim there, uh, there would have been opportunity uh, for the Thresher to have established communication in one form or other. Uh, so I conclude with, with great regret and sadness uh, that this ship with 129 uh, fine souls aboard is lost. Admiral Anderson announces that the Trieste, an ocean research underwater craft, is being brought to the disaster scene to examine and photograph the Thresher's wreckage, if this can be found. A bathyscape, the technical name of the Trieste, should have no trouble descending to the 8,400-foot depth at which the Thresher is reported lost. It has already gone down more than 35,000 feet. But forever lost are the men of the Thresher.